Today we're here on beautiful Longboat Key to speak with someone who's very politically active, a member of the Romney family. Let's get personal with Ronna Romney. A few years ago, I, I called my children together and I said, there's nothing you can buy me for Christmas. And I think we're getting away from the idea of Christmas. Mm -hmm. So let's not exchange gifts, except for the little kids. I want from you every year, and what you'll get from me, is the story of your year and pictures. She's an avid scrapbooker, businesswoman, mom, grandmom, and political personality who just happens to be part of the Romney family. This is Mitt and Ann's house out in California. There's Ann and Mitt dancing at Christina's wedding. It's pretty cute. This is my husband looking at me adoringly. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes, he is. And there's little Rana boogieing, oh, that's and Christina at her wedding. Oh, Kevin Mitt. on the table. I think he, is he doing the YMCA there? Yep. There, yep. Looks yep. Like. <laughs> All right. So for people that don't know, mm -hmm. tell me how you fit into the whole Romney political family. Well, um, I married my husband, Scott Romney, uh, in 1967. And when his dad was running for president, he was the former governor of Michigan, and we were married for 25 years and five children, and that ended in 1992. And I've since gone on to do other things, but that is why um, I have such a long relationship with the Romney family. And it continued afterwards because Anne was is pretty much my best friend. Ronna Romney makes it a point to stay out of the media and hasn't done a print or video interview in years, but she got personal with us. Oh, we had a two-man kayak. Oh. It's now a one-man kayak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After splitting her time between Michigan and Longbow Key for several years, Rana and her current husband Bruce fell in love with Sarasota. There's a spirit to Sarasota and I just like it. Yeah. I still feel like there's a lot of old Florida here. Mm -hmm. An accomplished businesswoman who sits on boards of several publicly traded companies, she's also a political powerhouse in fundraising and campaigning. I was a U.S. Senate candidate for Michigan in 96, lost that race to Carl Levin, and then pretty much stepped out of politics uh, because I got married right after that and then I went into business in terms of serving as a director and I stepped away probably for close to, I'm going to say 10 years. And then when Miss started running again in 2008, I got involved a little bit, but this time when he decided to run, I thought, I am so worried about this country that I am not going to sit on the background and say, yay Mitt, go for it. I'm going to get in there and really work. She is full of great stories and advice from interesting people like George Romney who've influenced her along the way. He looked at me one day, he said, Rana, he said, politics is the fastest way from going from who's who to who's that. And I have always remembered it. Rana is also the mother of five and grandmother of 13, two roles that she says are her most important. One of your girls is also named Rana. Little Rana. And I just want to, you know, I love your frog, my frog brooch, yeah. and your um, ring. And there's some significance about that to you, right. I guess. What right. is that? Well, first of all, I got my name Rana, and everybody always asks me this: uh, How were you named Rana? And many years ago, there was a very famous uh, movie star named Veronica Lake. Okay. And when my mother had me, she loved Veronica Lake, so she basically just bastardized the name and called me Rana. <laughs> yeah. And and so when I was growing up with Rana, it was a tough name because everybody thought there was a misspelling and it was supposed to be Ronald. Mm -hmm. But it, it, eventually I grew into my name and then Rana Romney not only became my married name but my professional name and I and I really enjoy it. And I called my daughter Rana. We and she became little Rana. Did you notice the picture of our cat? Because no one ever sees the cat. That is so <laughs> funny. I didn't even see the cat. I didn't. No one ever sees the cat. This savvy, seasoned, down-to-earth, and funny lady is gearing up yet again for a big campaign. I'm committed to Mitt Romney, the candidate, and hopefully the president. But I would have done that whether I was related or not. Because I think what's happening in this country is so important and we are at a pivotal moment in our country. Now just a couple of quick fun yeah, questions. Sure. Um, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Yes. What Easy. is your pet peeve? Arrogance. Very good. 
I don't like the arrogance. And what inspires you? My children. 